All right. This is a little, sort of a little itty bitty one. I'm not going to talk a whole lot. We're basically going to kind of watch this little video. But, okay, into the the ring of fire. Name the movie. The ring of fire. Anyone? No movie? Hmm. Post it in the comments below. Okay, moving on. Okay, so we've learned a lot throughout all of this. Alfred Wegener uh, teaches about plate tectonics. They uh, discovered he was correct, and when they mapped the ocean floor, they saw the Mid-Atlantic Ridge was spreading apart. They're like, how is this happening? And then, so they learned that he was correct, and good old dead guy was correct. He never got credit for it while he was alive, but I'm sure he's happy wherever he's at now or something. But, okay, so if you look here, ooh, wait, I want some cool pointers. There we go. Okay, so you have the plates, if you can kind of make your way through this visual. So here's the North American plate. Here's the Pacific plate. Here's the Eurasian plate, the Indo-Australian plate. A whole bunch of plates going on here. So what happens, holy cow, you can see my face this time. Why? I hit present, and it's working. <sighs> Just never know. But okay, so while these plates are crashing into each other, they're causing earthquakes, they're causing mountains, they're causing volcanoes, but there's this place where all of these plates combine, and it's called the Ring of Fire. Down, down, down. Okay, I won't sing Johnny Cash. Um, but all of these are volcanoes. So wherever these plates meet, and one plate, is that word? Going down. Subduction. When one plates are going down, it's called subduction. And then you get volcanoes. So we can pretty much predict where all the volcanoes are on the planet. After we started studying where the plates were, we actually know where all the earthquakes are going to happen. We know when mountains are going to form because you can always just go to the sides of the plates and see it. It's kind of cool. So there's all of these volcanoes right at the edges of plates, like all the way around here. A bunch of volcanoes, 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 volcanoes. And this is the most active part of the world where there's volcanoes on um, the plates. Kind of cool. And then this is actually how we figured out what all the plates are or where they are is by basically mapping the world's earthquakes and mapping the, or the world's volcanoes. Is once we like, oh, there's a volcano, we put it on a map and we put it on a map. So each one of these is an individual earthquake. Boom, 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 boom. And after like years of us recording it, it basically shows us the outline of all the plates. Here's a plate. Here's a plate. Here's the Pacific plate. You can see all the way around it. It's kind of cool. Here's the Indo-Australian plate right here. And that's how we were able to find out where these plates were. So we can't see them. Um, but we can record the events on the planet and map them. So here's like a really cool thing that I want to take into. Don't, don't raise my face. Don't raise my face again. I don't know why. Okay, let's check it out. 